Hi, I am going to give you a quick demonstration on how to set this beast up. Now, this is currently set showing the current temperature, which is 24 degrees, and it's showing one degree, which is the temperature that the alarm will stop buzzing at, and H means that it's in the heat mode. There's two modes, cold and hot. We need the heat mode for it to behave correctly. To change the modes and the temperatures, you've got your up down arrows here and you've got a set button over here. So you just push the set button once and it will change the display and the H is flashing. You now can push the up and down button and change H to C or vice versa. And so we need it in the H mode. So we then push this button once and it goes to this temperature. Now the one degree is the temperature that it will stop buzzing at, okay? Yeah, I know it's a little bit reverse to what you normally think, but this is the Chinese made product. So what we do, I'm assuming we want it to stop buzzing at one degree, okay? It's nice and easy, so we do that. So we then push this button and it flashes on this temperature. This temperature is the temperature that it will start to buzz at. The alert will go off at that temperature. I'll just get back to it again, okay? But it will be that temperature less that. All right, so flashing a one degree, you can change it by the same mode, pushing this button over here. You can change it to whatever you want. So if we set it for one degree, it will be one degree lower than the, the temperature that it's gonna stop buzzing at. So technically this is now set to go off at zero degrees. That's the theory. <laughs> and it should, okay? So that's, that's all you gotta do. That's as simple as that. Uh, um, <laughs> this button over here is a power button. Now, off means see it out is flashing now what will happen is if out is flashing that means the buzzer will not sound even if the alarm is triggered all right so don't push that i'm not pushing that i'll push it again and see it'll go back to that and see the little off's gone and that's right now there's a second mode menu mode that you can go into and that's caused by holding this button down too long so if you just push it once Okay, it goes into this mode where you can change the H the, and your temperature up and lower temperature, right? It'll go back to the normal display. If you hold it down for too many seconds, it goes into this mode. That's an alert temperature you can set, which we don't want to. There's a over temperature alert as well that you can set. And, oh, see, too, too slow, Simo. And then the other one is an adjustment temperature, which is what you can change the reading. So just in case it's not reading the right temperature, um, you can change it from there. So if I hold this down again for a couple of seconds, goes to that, push it, there, off, offset. And then you can change it and say, yeah, make it 7.7, .7. see if it's not quite right. So let's just say if we do one degree, all right, push that button. And that's still one degree offset. Now that should go back and see how it's 23 now, where it is actually 24. So that's something you can do, you can change that as well. All right, hope that is good. If, if at any time you find it's flashing off or out, if it's, if it's showing out over here, the buzzer should be sounding. The buzzer's not sounding, something's wrong, or you've pushed the off button and see out is flashing, see? That means it won't buzz. You go, oh, no, it's not buzzing. That's right, because it's flashing huge. I don't know if you, I think if you hold this button down, it may turn off. Nah, I didn't think so. So you push it again and it goes back to normal, all right? So it's currently set to stop buzzing at one degree, but it's currently set to start buzzing at one degree less than one degree which is zero degrees, all right? Ah. <laughs> all good. I hope that's as clear as mud. Any problems, ask Craig. <laughs> Have a good day. See ya.